If you are not there, say wait for me. Hurry up, please. Are we there? I read in English. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Jesenas and saw two sheep standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would trust truth out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. Verse 4. Now, when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught. Verse 5. And Simon answering and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the nets. Verse 6, which is the last verse. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their nets break. May the Lord bear the error and the reader of his word in Jesus' name. They say this mountain can be moved. They say this change will never break. But they don't know what you can do. There is power in your name. We've heard that there is no way through. With that the tide will never change They haven't seen what you can do There is power in your name So much power in your name Move the immovable Break the unbreakable God we believe God we believe for it From the impossible We'll see a miracle God we believe God we believe for That hope is no more lost For there is still an empty grave God we believe no matter what There is power in your name So much power in your name You know who Break the unbreakable, God we believe, God we believe, oh from the impossible we'll see, God we believe, oh you move, you break, hey, God we believe, God we believe for it. From the impossible we'll see God will believe God will believe for
they say this mountains can be moved. They say this children will never break. But they don't know what you can do. There is power in your name. Without that there is no way through. Without the tide will never break. They haven't seen what you can do. There is power in your name. So much power in your name. Move in, move up, break the unbreakable. God will believe, God will believe for it from the impossible. You see a miracle, God will believe, God will believe. Oh, you move, you pray. God will believe. From the impossible, we see a miracle. Oh, we believe. Oh, you move. Oh, we believe. From the impossible, we see a miracle. God will believe. God will believe. You move. You break. Oh, we believe. From the impossible, we see a miracle. Oh, we believe. Oh, we believe. You move. You pray, oh, God will believe, from the impossible, we'll see, Father will believe, Lord you move, break the unbreakable, God will believe, God will believe for it. From the impossible, we see a miracle. God will believe. God will believe for You break your breakable. God we believe. God we believe for it. From the impossible, we'll see a miracle. God we believe. God we believe. Oh, we believe. You break. God we believe. We believe. From the impossible, we see a miracle. God will believe, God will believe for you. You move, 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 Break the unbreakable. God will believe. God will believe. God will believe for it. From the impossible, we see a miracle. God will believe. God will believe for it. From the unbreakable, break the unbreakable. God will believe. God will believe for it. From the impossible. We see a miracle, God will believe, God will believe for me.
they call one old song now. Look on what you only come. Only at the joke on what's up come. Move my hand and my legs, they are movable. No headache. God, well done. Well done. My God, well done. Well done, my God, well done. My hand is movable. My legs are movable. No heads, no body pain. Well done, my God. In our journey, we will not get into trouble. Maybe I stay with it. Listen to me. Whenever you are before me, I want to be mine. I want to be mine. I have a lot of gratitude. I have a lot of gratitude. It's not even to motivate you to thank God. I just think of how God has been saving you and I. Despite everything surrounding us, I'm back kidnapped We live with kidnappers in the environment and we, uh, to our ignorance. We live with ritualists in our from our ignorance. We Maybe don't know. time permits me, I will share with you what I had. Somebody, somebody told me Thursday night. See, Koko back by me like you. Won't shut back by day. Won't any cause a lot of job. Can we just thank God with that song again? I just can't do the casting calling. Who is she? All the room me. Who is she? Well, Baba. Who is she? All the room me. Who is she? Well, Baba. 
mo gba pa mi o se gbe mo gbese mi o se gbe ori o fo mi ala oro mi ku ise olorun mi ku ise we o baba ku ise olorun mi ku ise le o baba ku ise olorun mi ku ise re o baba o ba pa mi o se gbe o ba se mi o se gbe ori o fo mi ala oro mi ku ise olorun mi ku ise re o baba oya ku ku ise Olorun mi ku ise re o baba ku ise Olorun mi ku ise re o baba a mo ka pa mi o se pe mo gbese mi o se pe ori o fo mi ara oro mi ku ise Olorun mi ku ise re o baba Can we wave our hands unto God in prayer? Say thank you for every part of my body. Thank you for every part of my body. For this head, thank you. For this hand, thank you. For this my neck, thank you. For my beautiful legs. Thank you. For this wonderful skin, thank you. Thank you for my wonderful wife. Thank you for my wonderful children. Thank you for this great ministry. Thank you for these wonderful people. Thank you for these great people. In Jesus' mighty name, we've given thanks. But I will bring our thanksgiving offering. Be magnified, Lord. I step aside that you may step in. Glorify yourself in our life and honor yourself mightily. In Jesus' mighty name, we give him thanks. Before you sit down, welcome somebody to church. Say welcome to church today. God bless you. I'm glad to see you. You are so wonderful. The glory of God I did over you. You are a great person. And you are shining for. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. For three weeks now, I've been sharing with us the miracles of faith. That means it is a miracle to walk in faith. Now, the life of faith is a life that carries every day miracle. To choose to live by the word of God is a great miracle. A man that walks in faith lacks nothing. Even when he has nothing. Somebody is not hearing me. You can you hear me say amen? amen? A man that walks in faith lacks nothing. Even when he has nothing. God told Abraham. Abraham. In Genesis chapter number 17. That Genesis Abraham. Abraham walked before me and be perfect. Even when his request had not been granted. When he has not all the tangible result of his request. But the command came in retrospect of the result that is already holding in the spirit. I think God will have me tell somebody this. And I will have attention everyone. Tell you Take your corner, okay? Let your heart be perfect. Tell me. Did you Take hear? your corner, okay? Let your heart be perfect. 
Check your corner open. Let your heart be part. I've had it in my spirit three times now. And hearing it in my ears in the fourth time, that's why I said it out. Are you with me? So God knew that it's a perfect art that can assess anything through faith. So I've shared with you two stories. I share with you that of manna. Manna. The lessons we draw from the miracle of manna. So God told them to bat the la rola. Along so by tomorrow morning, flower or rojo, there will be a rain of flour. Our rojo, eh, just pack it. Ekonko, pack that of his day. Eko it any little lojo con. So God was teaching them to trust them. Along come on, lati bagoni no money. Even if. The rain will not fall tomorrow. He taught them to have faith for today. Have we all had this word before that no one knows tomorrow? That word is not actually true. And let me prove it to you. God knows tomorrow. Yes or no? Then who do you believe? So it's just tomorrow obscure. No. Are you with me? So your tomorrow is not bad. Listen to me. Now, what is the miracle of man are teaching us is that the faith of today is enough for today. So the same faith you use today push it towards tomorrow there will be another manna can I say this to you sir and what? to you man God help you today is going to help you tomorrow who just said what I said who heard me now if God helps you today, he is helping you tomorrow. It does not matter what you are saying today. Now, have you come across the scripture in Hebrews chapter 13? In verse 8, that said Jesus today is the same today. Tomorrow and forever. What was the writer of Hebrews telling us? That what God does today. He will do it tomorrow. And he will do it the day after. So have you enjoyed divine provisions yesterday? I'm telling you that you will enjoy it tomorrow. The same faith that you put forth today, put it forth tomorrow. You heard what I said. Just wave your hand. I want to be sure. Now, last week, I share with you the story of the woman in Sarafat with Elijah. The little she had, was the little she used. Can I tell you something? Little faith is enough. Did you hear me? Said, Did you hear? Now I trust God today. When you trust Him tomorrow, what He did today, He will do it tomorrow. Now the reason you can task for bigger faith, is if you want a better testimony. Did you hear me? The faith of today can give you tomorrow. And the faith of tomorrow of, of, of tomorrow can give you the day after. Like I told you, faith is not mental stability. Faith is spiritual capacity to build God capacity. 
to experience God's capacity. Did somebody hear me? So when you now look at faith from the angle of God's word, that means you focus on God through his word. What will happen to you is what you are done to in God's word. I think this is for somebody. Somebody under the sound of my voice. This is 9.59. Before this time tomorrow, there is something you are thirsting for. I don't know if your amen is the loudest. The mercy of God delivers it to you. Are you still with me? So in Luke chapter 5, I want to share a story with you. So we want to draw a lesson from that miracle that came through faith. So we read from Luke chapter 5 on verse 1. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him. So hear the word of God. And we know that faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. Can I tell you something? No miracle takes place without the word of God. I have this in my spirit and I believe it's for somebody here. Today, that seed around that heart. By the power in the name of Jesus, it is consumed by fire. For anyone under the sound of my voice, and you have this issue with your breathing. Maybe you are. Thank you, Jesus. Maybe it is that short breath. Now is the word of the Lord to you. That case is settled now. The Bible says when God created the man and the woman. And he breathed into them. Let that person open her mouth wherever she is. That short breath is about to go now. The Lord breathes into your mouth now. And from now begin to breathe. In the name of Jesus. Glory to Jesus. So he stood by the lake of Genesaride. Now I preached from this place several times. So I told you that this same river is that river of Galilee, but from another side. Everybody know Babish, right? And you know uh, Eleko. I say Eleko Bish. I was another day they used to say again. Everything see what the same bish. But from other angles. Ayumi. So yabon. the river of Genesaret is just another angle of the river of Galilee. Oje, Odo, Galilee ni Are you still with me? Now, why just what So this is a the, 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 the lake. And saw two sheep standing by the lake. For the sh fishermen were gone out of them and were watching their net. I don't know if you are already washing your net that there is no testimony. I'm telling you before you leave here you will live with a testimony. Do you believe me? I'm saying it again. I don't know if they are already washing your net. Uh, 
Why is often allowed to talk that now? That's what the same thing they told us no. last year. I'm telling you. Before you leave here today, before you are washing your net. You are washing your net for a new harvest. Oh, for I want it. You are washing your net for a new miracle. So at times in the journey of life, you have done what you can do in your capacity. It, it is not wrong. Are you with me? As a professional, you have given your best. It is not a sin. As a pastor, I took my time to read the scripture over and over again. I, have, I will do everything to make sure that the church is set up for service. There's nothing wrong with human effort. Or let me put it this way, there's nothing wrong with work. Did you hear me? Now, can I say this? Your faith is not against physical effort. That was why Paul would tell them that any man that does not work should not eat. Hope you are getting me. Now, so therefore, they are never giving up. They thought it was over. Glory to Jesus. And he entered into one of the ships. Let me draw the faith analogy for you. He was speaking to them why they have already washed in their name. Then he now stepped into their life. Did you hear me? Now, they have had the word. So they pay attention to the word. And faith comes by hearing. Hearing the word of God. Now when they now pay attention to hearing the word. Jesus now went to that booth. That means Jesus came into their physical effort. Jesus he came into a physical effort. Did you hear me? Now, there is something I need you to understand this morning. The day you begin to pay more attention to God's word, your issue, physical issue, will come to the light of God's word. And where you are incapable, God will step in. Amen. 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 So when he stepped into that place, so I put the I put the horse before the cat. So why they press on? So they have not preached the word yet. So Jesus now step into the boat. Are you still with me? Which was Simeon's? Amen. And he prayed that he would thrust out a little from the land. Even when he was frustrated. Even when he was downcasted. He obeyed. Now, the foundation of this miracle that we see is that when man is frustrated don't resist the voice of God now in the journey of life we may come to a place where we feel frustrated like human and Jesus steps into that ship and gives you instruction. Pay attention. Jesus is one who can now open it, turn it, or it. Say I can't bore me later. Somebody hearing me this morning? Are you sure you heard me? Are you sure? Now let's move on. Now, and he sat down and taught people out of the ship. 
Let me reiterate that again. No matter where you find yourself as you are listening to me, don't resist the intervention of God. And look at me. So many are trying. You are expecting one angel. Go out there, God be that. Go wash off. That will wear one white uh, garment. Kwama appear, kuma disappear. And he will be appearing and disappearing. Will be but disappearing. But you only need an instruction. Subban o koni deli toni that can change all things. Tio ye e e. Did somebody hear me? Now this man was frustrated. You agree me? Agree with me? And he allow his sheep to be used. Oje ki wo lu oko un. Hallelujah. Now, whenever God steps into a frustrated sheep, are you with me? It becomes an abundant sheep. Somebody is not with me. You are with me, let me know. Glory to Jesus. Whenever you allow God to step into any situation, even when you are not having all, you still gave your all. Don't 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 when you are not having all, you still give all. What you are going to see is abundance. Can you say this? I'm expressing abundance. Do you know that there is nobody that is too poor to give something? So, my said, You did not hear me. The woman I showed you last week, what was her life? Her life, what? Mom. What our her life, what? Sir? That means an handful, Abby. Now, what does Peter have now? Can you better run and a frustrated life? A frustrated sheep, a frustrated day. Oh, you need to tell this. You can come with your dad. Don't let me put apply systematic theology. I'll tell you, tell you something about that sheep. But don't let me do be theological. Let me stay with something simple. Are you with me? There is nobody that is too poor to give something to God. Can I say something? Hope you won't be angry. Say this I am not poor. You are not responding. I, I can't hear you. Say it again. And I will never accept to be poor. So this man was at a frustrated time. He was totally frustrated. But he still listened to God's word. Hello. Hello. I know you don't want me, I know I know you think I don't know that some things are practical. Two days ago I saw that the inflation is thirty seven inflation to the thirty seven percent. Food inflation. And let me tell you the, the inflation of that. So, so shall I hear uh, rice, I I e how much is it? Eight thousand. Now, 8,000 multiplied by 37.7.1. Tabashi Shiro, I want Yetanta Eresi, Ati Yeti, Igbo Lorida. Are you with me? Now, oh, divided by 100. You know, 3 times, uh, three times 6 is what, 20, 24, right? Abby? So you have about 2,500 naira coming upon what you buy, bought yesterday. Amen. That is the inflation of inflation. That means, so you multiply 1,000 by 37.1 over 100. Divided by that. So you have about 20. Are you with me? Am I right? Are you with me? Now, that's the inflation of inflation. 
Well, listen to me. The economy of our faith is powerful than the frustration of our inflation. Hmm. The economy of our faith is much more powerful than the frustration of our inflation. Are you with me? So what happened? Glory to Jesus. Now, when he had left speaking, he said unto Simeon, launch out into the deep and let down your net for a drought. Amen. Amen. I am of one last thing, but I'm prepared for a drink. You know, I told us last year when we were preparing we for this new year. And that in my case, that in my control, we for our time. That we must be careful in hearing what God tells us. I want, us. I want you to look at me. I told us last week. Yeah, and I want to say it again. Twice I've said it this year. But she ma buri akota wa yi. Ki le mo pa kesi okan re si dojojumo. How to overcome this time we have? What is the Holy Spirit calling your attention every day? Kalon bo mi bai. Share me. Share bo mi. Can you hear me? O to pa kesi okan wa si en ka lo timu. It is that thing is calling our attention to we should go and hold on to it. Share bo. Are you hearing me? Only my je popular opinion. May not be a popular opinion. Just hold on to it. Just put it to work. Now, Peter was frustrated, yes or no? Did he wash his net? It means he has given up, right? Are you with me? At 75, Abraham was supposed to retire. And God said, Abraham, leave these people and go to the land I will show you. 75. Oh yeah, ki Abraham ti ma fe yin ti sugbo. Pe pe ko kuro lo si bi kan. I tell you something. Ti mo ni son ko fun. Okay, listen to me. A survey of people who are successful people. Aye wo awon to ti do so lori to awon lori re. Are you with me? Se wa pelu mi. Says 70 to 85% of people who are successful oh. became successful after the age of 50. Oni awe eyan ti won so ri re. That's some people that have think that it is over for them, and God is saying, No, it is not over, I'm starting all over again. I want to see Rope, Oti Dokun, Fumo, or no one Rarao, Oti Dokun, Munshen Bere, or somebody. That the grace to launch again, receive it now. Oh, the grace to launch again, take it now. Listen to me. You might have washed your net. God says you are starting again. You are succeeding again. You are moving again. This is taking again. Come and wake up. Listen to instruction. It is not over. It is not over. It is not. It is not. It is not. Peter thought it was over. He got nothing. He was going to sleep hungry. He would have gone on bankrupt. But Jesus said, Come on, launch the net again. Tell someone to say, Launch the net again. For what point? Because I'm going to say, I want to say, I say something this morning. The net of faith, we always catch abundance. I want it back, boy. You're my boy. No matter when you put your faith to work, it will always work. Boy, boy, but oh, but if you back, boy, eh, because if you believe, so you say to you, she say. Let me say it again. No matter when you put your faith to work, it will always work. The day you believe the word of God for God's word, it will work. Glory to Jesus. Somebody see with me. And you can see what I'm 
Abraham believed God at the age of 75 and things turned around. Peter believed God when he has washed the net. Things still turn around. Abraham, you belong, you belong. Things turn around. And in God, see you part of it. Yes, Peter, but after he has washed his name. Nigba to 34 and 1 right on. So no matter where you put your faith to. Osi, Igba Kuba to ba fi Igba Bo reso ju ishe. It will always work. Yo, she she. Can you raise your right hand? Surely, no, what to reso ti. And sing with me. Yo, she so kwe lo me. No matter when I put my faith to work. Igba Kuba to ba fi Igba Bo mi so ju ishe. My faith will work. Igba Bo mi yo, she she. I'm going to put my faith to work this week. Ngo fi Igba Bo mi so ju ishe lo se yi. And my faith will work. Igba Bo mi yo, she she. So Jesus said, launch your net again. Jesus so fun kwe oya. I want you to look at me. God told you last year, right? Alone so fun. Lord, don't talk about Launch the net. Oh yeah. Do I want to me? Shebo. Did you hear me? Shebo. Can you hear that? He told you last month, sir. Launch the net. Oh so fun. Lord, don't talk about But so I want to me. The net of faith don't expire. Eh, I want it back, bro. Ki kuro loju ishe. Ida kun ishe. Ida mudo di omo endo pe. Trouble over that child is over. Look at my son. All those little sicknesses. Don't for money. Don't fear. Don't don't bow the wall and do your money. That is extorting money from you over your children. Your child. I talk to the source to dry up. I'm talking to the source. It dries up. I love you, Akiko. Full peace. Lord, not me, in sevenfold. Lord, not done immediately. Oh, yeah, what now? Your money. The child receives. I say this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody said there is no hospital in them. And you can't go see Ile was alone. But there is. You can see a child being taken care of. Tony Moro Mo Conti and she told you. Those who are in heaven, as we are taking care of the child, as she pain, it is perfect. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Are you still women? And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toyed all night and we have nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will lay down the net. Simeon is sit down, we see we from pay. Oh, look on it, book, book, run on your fish. She share our cosy moon, can she burn it to your or a mute you? I will not see now. The lesson we draw from this miracle of faith is this a cotty and corny no yano tiba boy in ye that with the word of faith you can try again. Did you hear me? Check bomb me. Did you hear me? Check bomb me. That's number one. Let's move on again. And when they have done this, they enclose a great multitude of the fishes and their nets begin to break. That is the miracle. So the net that have caught nothing before. I want you to can tell it. He's catching something now. Oh, to be the same can buy. But you are alone, mama. Me. Yes, I buy in Lenny. Maybe it's for you, daddy or mommy. I want you to can learn now. Your net that caught nothing yesterday. You say you walk or This week it will catch abundance. Share the car, maybe it's okay. Can you raise up your? Buy new do I will let you know. Just said the Lord from my mouth. That your net that caught nothing last week, this week, it will catch overflow. Money will catch an overflow. Amen. It will catch abundance. And this is this week is mark. Or say as it is for abundance of testimonies. Full. You believe that? Shout, Amen. Glory to Jesus. So let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. Now we begin to draw the lessons again. And they beckon unto their partners, which were in the other sheep, that they should come and help them. 
and they came and filled both the ships so that they began to sink. Now, when your faith draws miracles, are you hearing me? It's an opportunity to get other people on board. And somebody now we always make this assumption that when God bless me for me alone. Mm -hmm. That is not biblical faith. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. He can choose to draw that fish alone and struggle. His brother. Because for happiness. When God begin to bless you, but your faith begin to draw miracles. When God begin to take you to take place, like you see, it's yeah, an the opportunity the to bring out that some. And finally, the last thing we are going to do, so much to see, the miracles of faith. So God is not blessing us to become selfish. God is not doing miracles in our life that we become pompous. God does not give us faith to draw miracles to show off. No. Listen to me. When this faith begins to work, it will make others to work. Did you hear me? Let's continue to draw. And when Peter, Simeon Peter, saw it, he fell down at the nail of Jesus. Now, when our faith draws miracles, Remember one, it is to make us more humble. Is anybody, is anybody hearing me? Is anybody in Bamba? Is anybody hearing? When God begins to show you mercy, it is for us to be more humble. Now, when Peter fell on his knee, he knew by understanding that this was not his power. So he humbled himself. Children of God, if we do not humble ourselves, we draw people to us and draw people to God. I am working, yes. Are you with me? But know that it is uh, the blessings of God that make it rich. So Peter fell on his nail. Acknowledge that, sir, this is not me, it is you. Peter, wole, osi mokwe, ah, yes, you want to make us arrogant. Yanu, konche, kosawadi, anything beraga, not make us arrogant. Ibagboko, but osawa, don't you beraga? She rather humble us. Now, see what he said. He said, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Now we draw another message from here. That when faith brings us to a particular point, it does not mean that we are not weak in a particular place. Should I say that again? Now, this man Peter had an encounter with God of miracles. So he knew that naturally, before this time, he knew not Jesus. He was after that come. And he said, God, I know I am not worthy of what you have done. How grateful are you? How humble are you? How 
often do you admit that what you are seeing around you is God that is not you? Your testimony will be this testimony that God has helped you. That God has shown you mercy. Are you with me? Come with me, everyone. Are you still with me? We so have me. seen from Peter that you can launch your net again when it's over. That in front, in time of frustration, you can launch your faith. In time of frustration, you can launch your faith. You know, and that when your faith begins to work, when God has around you, and we have seen that, Peter knew that alone she. it was God who has done this. Now, for he was astonished, and all that were with him at the drought of the fishes which they had taken. And so was also James and John and the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simeon. And Jesus said unto them, Fear not, for henceforth thou shalt catch men. Let me bring this message to a close with this. Miracles will draw you closer to God. And miracles will bring you into purpose. Each time God does a miracle in your life, it is to make you more closer and not farther from God. Now, it's to bring you into divine purpose. He thought he was supposed to catch different kinds of fish. He was called to catch men. He was catching fish. Faith will not take you away from your purpose. It will only draw you closer. I want to talk to you as I round up. I want everybody to look at me. I bought to I bought. Amen. Amen. Hope you are here. What I'm about to say may strike you in a place you don't like. It. Consider this as God speaking to you. If you are doing something and you are catching nothing, and you have put your faith to work and the same thing is still happening. And suddenly God gives you a break. Now he's calling your attention to something. You've been doing the wrong thing. That he wants you to do the right thing. If somebody under the sound of my voice this morning, you'll find that the job you are doing presently. You are already losing interest and you are already frustrated. It may be the Holy Spirit calling your attention to look at what God wants you to do. Please come is somebody hearing me this morning? You don't got find joy in what you are doing? And every now and then you have done everything, you are not finding joy. God may be calling your attention to something you are missing. You are Such person hearing me this morning? That is listening to me online. From today, receive clarity on what you should do. Receive clarity on what you should do. If your amen is the loudest, 
They just speak to your heart Sorry. with clarity. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you seeing here this morning? I'm going to have it. My time is fast. Now, that miracle draw Peter back to purpose. Um, when we experienced the miracles that came through faith it is to draw us to purpose somebody one of my son reached out to me I call her mommy oh come see me on that talo ba yin she media yin talo ba yin she he said, Your sound, who is doing it? Your, who are the people in your media? No, mom, oh, mommy, bye, bye. I said, ah, It's this my son. Only can you allow him to come and train our people? Only said, Jackie, you want to call and win your wannabe? Then I remember that day that some people were cursing me for that brother over there. Moa, not your joke on Tamok on Shakey, need to react on him. Don't shake him, don't be police. Shake Do you hear me? Are you me? Are you me? Listen to this. If it is faith that you follow, if it is God that is leading you, it will draw you to purpose, not away from purpose. And no matter what anybody does, they are going to succeed. I want us to take a singular prayer point. And I'll come back to bless us and speak as the Lord has told me. Can you raise your two hands? No worry, it's okay. And say, God, I believe you. Above the hardship in the nation. Teach me what to do. This raise your two hands. No, what made you rest? Okay. For the name of just three times. Pray, Uruko Jesu le meta. And say, Father, Baba, I believe you. Moba Ogbo over the hardship in the nation. Bori, unto shele ni uri le ye. Teach me what to do. No, mi lo wo unto shele. Somebody pray now. Call me. Somebody pray now. Ten kong ba dura. Teach me what to do, Lord. Come in your own wash your Lord. Teach me what to do. Come in your own wash. Open my eyes to see what I need to see. Loud you, Miss you to your king. Open my ears to hear an instruction from thee. See me, Lati boy, Tony Lato Dore. Open my ear to hear an instruction from thee. Light see me, Lati. Teach me what to do. Teach me what to do. Father, help me. Teach me what to do. I need an instruction from thee. Open my ear to hear directly. And help me to obey your instruction. And the faith to carry it out. Give it to me, O oh God. In Jesus' name. It is done. Father, we come to appreciate you. Oh, bless your name because of the undiluted word that you have passed to us. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray, O oh God, this morning that you teach us what to do. Amen. Teach us what to do. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We know most of the time you you always pass instruction for up to us, but sometimes because of disobedience and not paying attention, we've allowed those instructions to go. Father, we ask that you forgive us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Open our ear to hear from you again, Amen. and give us the grace to go with what you want us to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. Teach us what to do. Amen. And we'll follow your instruction. Amen. For our Father in the Lord will ask for more of your strength, more of your wisdom in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
or pray that will be a source of encouragement to him in the name of Jesus. Amen. Keep him for us. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Father, our offering, our tithes is before you this morning. We pray that you accept it from us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's drop our tithes and our offering quickly. By the special grace of God, we'll be having our deliverance service on Tuesday. Our deliverance service continues this coming Tuesday. Starts by 5.45 in the evening. Please invite others. As you come, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. On Thursday, we'll be having our mountain prayer. That starts by 8 a.m. in the morning. God bless us as we come in the name of Jesus. All the anniversary committee should please wait after the service. God bless you in Jesus' name. The person that will be taking the workers' prayer for next week is Bra Blessing. God bless you in Jesus name. Please quickly let's form the habit of coming to the Sunday school. Sunday school is an important aspect in the service. If you are missing the Sunday schools in you is just like as if you have missed out from the old service. You've missed out from the old service.